But see, this is what it should look like, okay, when you're dating. Number one is the man should approach the woman. The reason why is because the man is the one who has to get on one knee and say, will you marry me? So he needs to lead by first approaching the woman to say, hey, I like you or I'm interested in you or hi, ma'am, what is your name? Would love to ask if you're single. However he does it, he needs to approach. When a woman approaches a man, whether you send him a DM trying to flirt or whether you walk up to him, that is like a gazelle approaching a lion. When a man approaches a woman, that is like a lion approaching a lioness. So you either want to be his lifetime partner, a lioness, or you want to be his lunch, a gazelle. So understand it is of the importance that a man approaches you. Another reason why the man needs to approach you is because it takes confidence. It takes confidence. And if a man does not have the confidence and the strength to approach a woman, to walk up to a woman and say, hey, I see you. I'm interested in you. I would like to get to know you. If a man cannot do that, I'm here to tell you and guarantee you he does not have what it takes to lead a household because leading a household is way harder, is way harder than approaching a woman. When you got to be making the decisions, getting up off your butt, going and do your work as a man. And that is that takes responsibility, being 100 percent faithful loving your wife, loving your children, that is not easy. So if he can't even approach you, and a lot of women, they, they go and they make them excuses and they say, oh, well, you know, well, what if he's shy? You know, what if he's shy? Some men are introverts. 70% of, of men are introverts, might be 80%, but that does not matter. The one area a man has confidence in is when it comes to a woman. So if he does not muster the courage to come and talk to you, I don't care how many times you've seen him at church, at work, or wherever, if he cannot muster the courage to come and talk to you, you are not the one. You are not the one and he is not ready. Point blank period. Do not try to argue with me on that. So save it. The next thing is when a man approaches you, and he shoots his shot and you like what you see, you like his energy, you like his approach and you say, okay, cool, we can talk, you know, here's my number. You need to give the man your number. I've been hearing women say, oh, well, he gave me his number because I wouldn't give him mine. That doesn't make any sense because if you want to be courted then you need to give him your number so he can show you how serious he is about you if you give him your number and he doesn't call you within 24 hours when he does call you lose his number or when he does call you don't answer it you shouldn't be answering your phone anyways if it's not in your in your address book and if he shoots you a text then that even that text should be within 24 hours. Here's the thing. In the beginning of dating, this is another thing. When he reaches out, it needs to be, if he texts you to say, hey, how are you? This is such and such. You, your response should be, hey, I'm doing great. How are you? Then his response, it needs to be timely, not an hour later because he just texts you. Now, if you took an hour or two to text him back, then it's different. He could be busy when you text him back. But if he texts you and you text him right back, which is what you should do if you're there and you're available, don't get into the mind games. Don't be playing mind games. Oh, he texts me. I'm going to make him wait an hour. When we play mind games, everybody loses. So if he texts you and you're available, text him back. But don't text them if you're driving. Don't text them if you're working. Don't text them if you're spending time 
with your little ones or your family. Do not neglect what you're doing to respond. But if you are available, then respond. And then when you respond, now, if it's right when he wrote you, he should be writing you back. If he writes you, you write him right back, and then you don't hear from him for an hour or something, when he writes you back, it should be with an apology. So sorry, got a phone call. So sorry, got into a wreck. So sorry, this right here. If he just come right back, just picking up on the conversation, and you just met him, lose his number. Lose his number. So in the beginning, ain't no playing around. Ain't no playing around, you know, with a man. And I'm speaking on this side because it's the man who, who should be doing the pursuing. Now, when the man, if the man texts you first and you text him back, instead of having a text conversation, your next message needs to be, hey, um, give me a call when you're able. I don't really do text like that. Give me a call. So now he needs to be, okay. Uh, when are you free? When can I call? You say, I'm, I'm free now. You say, oh, I'm tired up right now. I'll call you such and such time. He needs to be calling you within 24 hours. So if this is, this is a, a red flag, if you meet a man and in the beginning, you, all he's doing is texting you. You're wasting your time. That means he is in a relationship. It means he's in a relationship or it means he's juggling too many women and he doesn't have phone time for you. You can't play those games. So if you get him on the phone and you're talking to him, now we got some here. Now we're going somewhere, okay? So now when you're on the phone, this is what you have to realize in dating. You need to have in our conversation if time permits. If this is someone that you are interested in and he is interested in you, every single day, y'all need to talk one hour a day. If it's broken up in 15 minute increments, okay, cool. If it's broken up in half hour increments or 20 minute increments, okay, cool. If you talk a whole hour, okay, cool. The only time you should talk more than an hour in dating is if you don't have anything else to do. This is what I mean. Do not neglect your homework, your children, your sleep, your work, or anything of that nature to be on the phone with somebody. Because some people will take your time and they know that you are neglecting things and what you're showing them by neglecting these things, you are showing them that you don't love and respect yourself and that you are semi-desperate. So that lets a man who may be a grown boy, that lets him know he can get over on you. He can get more from you than he deserves. So you talk an hour a day, okay? Now listen, you need to have 10 hours of talk time, meaning you talking, if you talk seven days or if you talk five days and then the weekend, let's say he's with his family, meaning if he has, you know, one, two, three, I don't know how many he done brought into the world, but if he's with them, okay, cool. Let him give them their time. If you have your own, you give yours your time on the weekend. And so you can make an exception to the rule there. But Monday through Friday, then that's your time. You talking an hour a day. If you have the time after you done put yours to bed and it's 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. or 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. on Saturday, then you can have that conversation. Sunday, you need to be in the bed getting ready for work Monday. So you don't need to be on the phone 10 to 11 or 11 to midnight, okay? Listen to what I'm telling you. So now you're not neglecting your responsibilities. And then here's what's going to happen. Y'all talking, you need to talk about 10 hours. And when I say 10 hours, this could be give or take now. But what I'm saying is you don't need to talk to somebody within 24 hours of meeting 
have an hour conversation, and then the next day y'all meeting up on a date. See, what this 10 hours does, it gives you some time to see if this person is crazy. You get to hear some things, you get to hear, and, and if this person trying you, if this person disrespecting you, when I say trying you, I mean talking nasty. When I say talking nasty, I, that could be being mean or it could be being being nasty. What what he wants to do to you. Or do you do this? Do you do that? Send me a pic, picture of it. Show it to me. If he going right there, now you know you got a grown boy. He just looking for a wham bam thank you ma'am. Lose his number. But if he talking about life, love, business, dreams, hopes, goals, and that's what he's talking about, and he's not talking about anything sexual, now you on to something. That don't mean you roll out the red carpet. That don't mean you so turned on you ready to be spread eagle. It just means that now you got a little something and you got to pay attention and keep watching. So now here's what's going to happen. After you feel comfortable, depending on who you are, how old you are, and where you from, some of you, you fast. Some of you fast, or like fast, F-A-S-T, mannish, hot, fresh, whatever term y'all use. Some of you fast. So two, three hours, five hours worth of talking, you ready to go on your date. Now some of you, you was raised by a worry wart. What I mean by that, you raised by a worry wart. You raised by the person who tell you to go check the mailbox when you walk out the door, they lock the door on you. You got to stand and knock on the door to get back into the house. And they just sent you five feet to the mailbox. You raised by somebody like that. So you so scary that now you need to have 20 conversations. You want you 20 hours of talk time before you ready to go on a date because you think everybody you meet want to chop you up and put you in their freezer. So, okay, cool better to be safe than sorry so when you ready the average number should be around 10 hours of talk time the man needs to ask you on a date he needs to ask you on a date if you talk to a man for 30 days 30 hours and he has not asked you on a date and y'all live in proximity of each other to where you can get together and go on a date lose his phone number lose his number he either in a relationship or he broke busted and disgusted and he is not creative he is not ambitious because even if he's broke pocketed he could walk you around the lake y'all could go walk around the lake y'all could go walk around downtown he could at least afford one of them slices of pizza out the window downtown if he can't do that Go on about your business because he needs some more time to get himself together. And don't y'all confuse this and be all in the con. Well, Tony, what you, t you just told us to date a, a broke man. You just said it's about his character. Understand this. If a man got character, he going to be able to afford a date. Because character going to have him working double time, working overtime. He going to be able to afford a date. Now, he might not be rolling in the dope. But he can afford to walk around downtown, get one of them slices of pizza out that window. Understand what I'm telling you. Now, listen to me. So, about average of 10 hours of talk time, now you could go on a date. When you go on a date, listen to me. When you go on a date, you need to get yourself to the date. If y'all live in New York, then y'all on them people train. We don't move like that in Florida, Okay. If you got to do Uber, Lyft, bicycle, tricycle, car, rent a car, borrow a car, friend got to drop you off. If your friend want to go on a date, hey, can my friend come? Absolutely. Whatever make you feel comfortable, but get yourself to the date. When you get yourself to the date, he get himself to the date. So don't let him pick you up because after this date, you might need to cut him off. So you trying to be cute. You want to be Miss Pris. You trying to act like a queen from Queens. You letting him come pick you up. Now he know where you live. 
You find out on the date he slapped crazy. So now you tell him to lose your number. Guess what? He could lose your number. He got your address. So get to the date yourself, okay? When you get to this date, you need to keep this date between two and four hours. Because if you go longer than four hours, he going to start to feel himself. He going to start to realize you giving him a whole lot of time. You weakening your position. And he going to realize that he really, really working on you. He getting you hot and ready like little Caesars. And if he spend that much time with you, he might be trying to go back to your place or ask you to go back to his place. And you might actually be hot and ready because of all that good conversation and quality time. Because you still got to, you still struggling with your loose booty ways. So understand that.